All right, folks. So let's see. Just a couple more things. Uh, on September 14th, that's our next show. It's also our four-year anniversary here at Homegrown Music Cafe. And special thanks, thanks to you guys. It's, it's because of you that we're still here doing this good work. We're going to have a really cool show, something we've never done before. Three of my favorite song, uh, singer-songwriters in the round, in the semicircle here. Uh, John Paul Vest, uh, John Predis, and Aaron Palmadessa. So that's going to be a great show. They have the whole night. So a lot of songs and storytelling, so it should be, it should be a fun show. And thanks to those of you who don't know, maybe it's your first time here, that 100% of your uh, donation at the door goes to our parish outreach program. We feed and clothe many hungry Long Islanders here in our area, so thanks to you for that. And we continue our trip up to the Adirondack Mountains. Alex Smith grew up in Long Lake, New York, in the heart of the Adirondacks, the son of a boat builder, writer, writer banjo player, and historian. Around the house, Pete Seeger and Bob Dylan were constantly present on the airwaves. He began writing and playing traditional folk songs at the age of 12 or 13, has not stopped since. The community he grew up in is steeped in tradition and also offers plenty of material for contemporary songs. The work of Adirondack folk legends Dan Bergren, Chris Shaw, and Peggy Lynn were extremely inf influential, as was Canadian artist Stan Rogers. Please welcome Alex Smith and the River Brothers. Yeah. 